Hey, this is Corn Fed down at Big R, and today we're going to tie a D duck caddis. Um, this is sort of a newer caddis pattern that we brought in this year that has become a staple in my box and has replaced the corn fed caddis. It's a CDC pattern that, I mean, just outfishes any other pattern that we have in here for those finicky fish, mainly in the sections above the town of Craig on the Missouri. So, why don't you check it out and give it a try? All right, to begin, we're going to tie on with our 80 uni thread in an iron gray, starting oh, about one third down the length of the shank. Then we're just going to tie all the way back to the beginning of the bend and snip off our tag end here. And now we are going to tie in one piece of natural tan CDC. Uh, we're going to tie this in with the tip facing the front of the fly and just tie that up. We're not going to worry about trimming those fibers that you see hanging out there. Kind of, I'm going to fold it up to kind of see where I need to start the end of my fly. I want it all the way back there at the end of that hook shank. So now I'm going to dub on some uh, bleach ginger squirrel dubbing, the spiky dubbing, and we're going to dub this pretty loosely because it's spiky dubbing. We really want this to flare out nicely. So just dub that on there. <clears throat> and then we're going to wrap this forward to where we tied in our thread, making just some quick, nice, loose wraps there. And then I'm going to make a couple of wraps back on top of itself pull out some of those stray fibers we got there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my CDC and I'm going to flip it over, creating an underbody of this caddis. And we want this to be kind of flared out a little bit, so we don't want to pull this part too tightly. So make a couple loose wraps to begin with here, and then we're going to kind of situate this so we have a nice, nice loose underbody here. And then we're going to make one real tight wrap, cinch it down, and then tie it in, cut off our tag there, and then just wrap all the way forward, securing that in there. Now what we're going to do here is add a couple pieces of the darker CDC. This is the natural done. Um, this is going to contrast that body. We're going to tie this in. So the wing is just coming over the end of the fly just a little bit there and snip our tag. Then I'm going to wrap all the way forward, securing that in. And now I'm just going to add one more piece, kind of bulk up that wing a little bit, makes it a little bit easier for me to see on the water. Kind of pull out some of these fibers here real quick. Just add it in the same way. Just make one, one loose wrap getting it where you want and then cinch it down and then tie it all the way up to the front and snip off our tag up there in the front. Now we're going to, what we're going to do is add some natural squirrel dub, the Whitlock dub, and we're just going to build up a little head here. And this we're going to, we're going to tighten up the dubbing up here because we want this to be a little bit neater than we did the body. So, Take a second here to really make this dubbing on get on my thread nice and tight. <clears throat> then I'm just gonna work it in and wrap it up, creating a little head here. We got a little too much there. Make sure not to crowd the eye, as always. I'm just gonna pull off the rest of this and then make a few wraps up the front. And we will be finished here. Now I'm just going to use a double five term whip finish. I like to use two, two five term whip finishes, make it a little bit more durable. Just get in here and throw another whip. Then just break my thread off and that is a finished, oh, we'll pull off some of these 
loose fibers here actually. Kind of clean it up a little bit. That is a finished D-duck caddis.